All right, Bukele. Uh, Bukele, remember we talked about Bukele? Bukele is, of course, the president of El Salvador, hugely popular. Uh, he's about to win uh, an election in El Salvador by a huge margin. This is the guy who took the most, uh, the deadliest uh, country in the world with the most uh, highest murder rate in the world and has made it uh, relatively uh, peaceful. You know, it's not completely peaceful, but it's, it's, uh, it's completely livable. It's, it's down, it's, it's, it's America standards, the US standard, m most cities in America. Um, uh, so uh, uh, Bikale is going to win this election by landslide because he's made El Salvador livable for the people, even though he has authoritarian tendencies. And the way he did this is, is you know, pretty authoritarian. Um, you know, elements of it are, are, are elements that are, that are right. You know, uh, uh, beef up your court system, uh, do very speedy trials, uh, arrest anybody with a gang insignia, uh, you know, the assumption, and then put them through speedy trials and be willing to incarcerate very, very large numbers of people. And that's what he's done. He's, he's built some of the largest jails in the world and they've incarcerated tens of thousands of people and anybody associated with gangs is in prison now and crime rates have plummeted, plummeted. So El Salvador now is a relatively peaceful country. That means investment is coming in. That means entrepreneurs are, in, are, are building up. The economy is going to flourish. Remember, the first job of government, the number one job of government is peace. It's, it's, it's to, 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 to get rid of the criminals. It's to put the criminals, the, particularly the violent criminals and, the, the, you know, and, and, the, and the fraudsters, but the, the violent criminals behind bars. Only once you take the criminals out of a society, particularly the violent ones, can you get civilization and can you get uh, an economy going? Can you get markets to thrive? This is why one of the reasons I'm against um, anarchy is you need a mechanism to extract violence from society, right? Uh, anyway, part of what's happened, though, is, and this, this relates to the drug war, as long as we have a war on drugs, there is going to be high profits in running these gangs and, and dealing with drugs. And when they're high profits, if I can't do business in El Salvador anyway, any, anymore because the drugs, you know, the, 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 the drug members are all being arrested, then I just look for another country. And what's happened is violence has been exported to Costa Rica. Costa Rica violence is, is, is spiking. It used to be an incredibly peaceful place. Uh, violence has been exported to Ecuador uh, and to Honduras and, and to the rest and other countries in, uh, in Central and Northern South America. Uh, and, and what is happening there is local politicians in these countries are now embracing the, uh, uh, the um, uh, Bukele's uh, methodology. And, and you're seeing big prisons uh, being built in, um, in uh, Honduras. Uh, and uh, the Honduran president, for example, uh, Castro, has, uh, has, has declared a state of emergency and is facilitating a crackdown on organized crime. The mayors, mayors in Peru successfully pressured President Dina Bularate uh, to emulate that to some extent. And uh, they're calling it the Bukele Plan, and they've suspended constitutional rights, which is sad, but they've suspended constitutional rights. And they're allowing the military to take charge of work normally done by police. That was also something Bukele did. He used the military, uh, he military uh, to do that. Uh, in Ecuador, where there's been, as I said, an explosion of violence, I'm reading from a Bloomberg article, uh, e e explosion of violence tied to murderous drug gangs, of course. Um, uh, you know, uh, uh, this used to be one of Latin America's most peaceful countries. Uh, the president, Daniel Noboa, is, um, is planning to build a prisons on ships and Bukelestein mass detention centers uh, on land to accommodate all the people that he's arresting. Some mass arrests going on all over the place. Now, the challenge here is, is twofold. One, um, okay, so you can't do it in, 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 uh, in Honduras and in, uh, uh, in uh, Ecuador and in, uh, in um, Peru. 
do you go now to Panama and you go now to Colombia and you I mean I mean this is a shift you cannot solve the problem without legalizing drugs yeah, I mean that's the stunning thing you cannot solve the problem without taking out the unbelievable insane uh, amount of profit that comes from something being illegal and and the violence that is implied by dealing with something illegal where will the violence go in South America as a consequence? So that's problem number one. Uh, problem number two, of course, is what happens to individual rights? What happens to, uh, to your rights under a system like this? Are they ever returned? All these countries declaring states of emergency, are they always going to be in a state of emergency? Is there ever going to be an unwinding of the emergency? Or is this the new authoritarian push that's going to dominate uh, Latin America in the name of doing away with violence. So uh, things to watch and, and a real challenge in Latin America. On one hand, I very much sympathize with this desire and, and need, need to clamp down on these violent gangs and to rid the world, rid the country of their murderous behavior. On the other hand, I am worried about the, 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 whether individual rights, whether the, the mentality, that kind of mentality then affects the rest of the, of the economy, the affects the, the rest of the country and emboldens the government to be more authoritarian or whether they limit this just to murder, violent crime and, and, and gangs uh, and, and whether they keep, they keep respect for individual rights in every other realm. It's, it's a tricky, very dangerous balance uh, to do. All right.